Before we get right to this video, remember to hit that bell next to the subscribe button on mobile and PC to get notified when I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday if you don't know, but just in case, remember to hit that bell so you get notified. What is up all you amazing people, my name is Nick, and in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the reactive kit that recently came out for the Submachine Guns in Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm going to be showcasing the reactive kit from the first Submachine Gun you unlock to the last, and also the MAC-10, with telling you guys, is it worth the parts to spend on? and also showing you guys how to get it. And with that, I didn't get the reactive kit, my friend it's Zenith did. So I will pop his YouTube in the description below if you wanna go check it out. He does like stories and all that stuff. So if you do like that type of content or whatever, subscribe to him. But with that, let's get right into the video. <laughs> So the reactive kit. So this kit is literally the best kit that has ever came out for some machine guns. It's way better than Battle Scarred because when Battle Scarred came out, Battle Scarred was like the best kit that came out for some machine guns. But now this is way better and this like changes all the guns like drastically. Like they look really different and it's amazing. It really is amazing. But to unlock reactive kit, you need to get Backlash, Network, Automatic, Synapsis, Device, and Neured? I, I don't know if I'm saying that. Wait, it's Nero. It's Nero. All right. <laughs> but basically, once you unlock all those parts, you do get the reactive kit, and they equal to about 3,500 to between 4,000 parts or salvage. I'm just going to say parts. And that is a lot of parts, to be honest. But I'm going to be telling you guys if it's really worth it. So, with that, is the reactive kit worth it? Now, yes. It is totally worth it. It looks amazing. It totally changes the submachine guns. I wish like some kids changed the sound as well, but these look super amazing and everybody sees it. Like everybody sees it in the kill cams and everybody sees it when they're shooting you. They see these kits and these kits do pop out drastically. They look amazing, they feel amazing, and then just it's just a really amazing looking kit in general. I really do recommend buying reactive kit because it's so worth it guys i'm telling you this is the only submachine gun kit you should really aim towards all the others are are pretty good but this one is the best out of all of them but that's been pretty much it for this video guys if you guys did like this drop a like because it helps me out a ton and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more amazing content I upload every monday wednesday and friday and comment down below what is your opinion on the reactive kit do you think it's good or do you think it's not so good i would really like to know but that's been pretty much it and i'm gonna pop up the card to my other kit showcases right about now and i'll also put the playlist in the description below if you want to check it out after this video and again remember to check out my friend it's zenf he's the one who provided me all of this footage for the react well not this footage but he provided me the reactive kit to showcase for you guys so big thanks to him but has been pretty much it and i'll see you guys in my next video so stay amazing and peace guys